what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel dmz missions are where it's at we're busy working our way through season two that means all of the factions and all of the tiers but specifically today we're looking at a tier three mission for the brand new crown faction called false alarm this is a two-parter expecting you to complete all of its steps on the al Mazra map and specifically on paper this is relatively straightforward and super simple the biggest part of this mission or let's say the biggest challenge of this mission is the time commitment that it expects from you and then the potential wasted time that could result from that what i mean by this is this expects you to stay until the very last extraction chopper in aka chopper number four and that means you're looking at upwards of a 30 to 35 minute time investment here and then of course if you get killed on that final chopper or on your way to it that would mean that you have wasted that time now in terms of the steps itself basically what you need to be doing is you need to be calling in an extraction chopper at each one of the three different exfiltration sites on any given map of al Mazra. that means simply driving up to it and basically hitting the exfil and then as soon as the chopper is called you will get credit on one out of three so you will need to do this three times for all three of these exfils and that will actually give you the first part of this mission complete now within the same deployment, you then have to wait for the final extraction chopper, which reveals itself when the third extraction site is covered by the radiation wave, and you will then need to exfiltrate on that chopper. Now it is incredibly straightforward for you to predict exactly where this final fourth chopper will be because up until the point where the radiation wave expands to that third one you will not know its location however if you simply open up the map and zoom out all the way to the end and in my example here you will see that if you draw some lines whether you do this mentally or if you actually take a picture of it or whatever but the point is if you draw some lines and where these lines intersect from all three of the known exfil sites you will have pinpointed where the exfil site is that will appear the final one the fourth one so this way you can basically predict exactly the area that you need to be in and you can go and set up there you can kind of just hang out in the area you know kill a couple of ai basically amuse yourself because you're gonna be busy for a while now absolutely get yourself a decent vehicle to move around the map fast an ltv or an ltv with a gun on top of it from a buy box are fantastic options here you can use this to knock out those first three exfil choppers but then also position yourself accordingly for this final one familiarize yourself with the area maybe kill a bunch of ai camp a little bit everything like that but the bottom line is you need to be ready for this final exfil chopper when it comes in and one last final thing before before I close the video here definitely in season one this final chopper the fourth chopper was camped and griefed a lot by players and this was simply due to the fact that we had a bunch of high tier missions which concluded in you having to use this chopper so definitely this was a point of concern for me when I started with this mission because I thought as a solo you would have to contend with this and again this whole wasted time situation however I've attempted this mission a couple of times to establish a baseline as well as previous times in the season I've stayed until this and the amount of times that i've been griefed by players or even just encountered other players in the final chopper on the fourth final chopper has been very very limited something like two out of every 10 times which is super super low so don't be discouraged that this will be very difficult and that you could potentially run into problems because at the very least in the experimentation that i made this didn't seem to be the case and there seemed to be almost no players left on the map near the end now if you are a person that rather wants to err on the side of caution one other final thing that you can do is of course you have these hunt contracts on the map which allow you to hunt other players by showing you their position you can flag one of these contracts on your map and if this changes to a gray color or disappears or if there are none of these available on the map anymore this generally is a good indication that there are no other players left on the map with you and you are the final one in the footage that you're watching right now this was exactly the case for me here since no hunt hunt squad contracts were available for me anymore and the one that i had selected and had highlighted had actually disappeared from the map as soon as i took my cursor off it so that way i was able to fully fully relax and you can see i'm basically just goofing around at the end here because there was nobody else left on the map so use these combinations of tricks even if there are other players make sure you get into position on the final chopper first and you could possibly shoot them as they're on their way to you but either which way i hope you get through this mission 
and on to the next one and that's gonna be it for the video thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far let me know in the comments down below if you struggled with this mission if you encountered some enemy players uh, on that final chopper i'd love to hear from you but either way good luck with the mission and as always have a fantastic morning afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world and until next video fucking cheers